What right, do so you need to know? What about regular? Everything. All right, so it's a, what size is it? It's a 30cc edge. 30, okay, 30cc edge. And you got, um, what kind of engine you got in it? 35DLE. Oh, okay, 35DLE. I got the like same your, engine. Yeah. All right, you're running off an of AR7000. Mm -hmm. So my thing is how you power it and everything. Okay. So you got, all right, the receiver you're powering with one battery? Two. Two batteries. Two batteries. All right. On a Booma switch. Okay. See, so that's, that's got a regulator right there. And uh -huh. two plugs for two batteries. So you're plugging both batteries in through? The both batteries the goes leads? into the receivers. With the, through the servo leads? Yeah. Okay. Go into the receivers. All right. And so uh, both batteries are plugged into that receiver. Yeah. Then and you got an IBE, is a Nishan battery eliminator, right up here. Okay. And it goes into the gear. Oh, okay. That way you can kill it, you know. The IBE goes into the gear, and the IBE is connected to this pin on the outside. Yeah, well, the IBE goes up and connects to the ignition. Okay. Goes, okay. There's three wires on the IBE ignition wire, receiver wire, uh -huh. and the third wire is just your light. Oh, okay, okay. So when you. Now that arms it. Yeah. Okay. And that disengages it. Yeah. And that's from boomrc.com. Booma. How much do those run? This is about forty-five bucks. Okay. For the okay. for the big one with the two batteries and a regulator. It's got a it's got a regulator too. Okay. Now the 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 batteries that I have are eleven hundred milliamps. Well, these are life batteries. They're yeah, not I, life I have those. Yeah. I have the Glacier eleven hundred milliamps. Okay, these are twenty one. So you're gonna get more time. Yeah, more time. But eleven hundred milliamps should be fine. Yeah. Them for me. Yeah. I just gotta, I guess, manage them. Yeah. Okay. Now the servos you're using, okay, you got a high-tech that, servo. That's, that's 7955 because okay. that's what we had. But they okay. said we needed these for the rear for the cow heavy problems. On the oh, okay. on the edge, you don't really need them. You can go with the bigger ones. Right. But uh, extra is got a tail heavy problem. So. Okay. And uh, but the servos and these, they're really fast and good. With the oh, you got Savox. Yeah, I've got some Savox in my. Um, my AJ Slick. Yeah. And, yeah that's, well, and that's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got Savox is in the wings. Yeah. And then the elevator and rudder, you have those. Uh, MKS. MKSs. And then the... On the, the elevators. On the rudder, we got a high-tech 7955. So that high-tech rudder is stronger than those elevator and rudder ones? I no. mean, the, the, the yeah. rudder? The rudder is 406. And okay. the elevators are 417. Okay, so rudder's 406, elevator's 417. Now your gas tank, I'm looking at this gas tank. It's a 17 ounce, right? Yeah. PAU? Okay, yeah. I like that. It came with a 12 ounce, but we thought we'd need a 17, okay. but we don't. But you can fly it for 10 minutes and, and it uses about this, yeah, much, about an inch of fuel, you know? Oh, wow, okay, <laughs> okay. So you have your carburetor, which also splits off to your fuel. Yeah. And then you have your vent that goes around and goes to the bottom of the tank. Yeah. Now what's this third line supposed to be? That's a fill line. It's, oh, okay. We don't run a three line tank. We always okay. plug it off and tee it. Okay. Because we have trouble getting fuel up to it sometimes, you know? Okay. And uh, it's got a fuel or fuel dot on the other side. Oh, okay. And I don't know if you've ever seen one of them, but they're really nice. They they don't twist your line up. They're oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. 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 You gotta show me that. That's yeah. neat. Mini me's here. There he is. All right. Let's see. There's and this right down ass. here. Is, huh? What's this down here again? Yeah. That's the IBE. The IBE. Okay. Yeah. And then all oh, your servo here. Is that what kind of servo is that? That one there. That's just a. I don't remember. It's a high tech, I think. High tech. So you didn't put a throttle servo. You didn't put a. What about the vibration you get off your throttle servo? How did you do that? What do you mean? Are you using a, is it a wire or cord or are you, is it a, um, is it a rod? What do you, what do you like, is it a rod that goes from the? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you got it cased in some way? Yeah. You got like, okay. Because I've seen some guys use. Is that, yeah, plastic, you know, you run yeah. 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 yellow inside the Okay, room. so you got the, yeah, that's Jeez. how you got it. Three inch, true turn. All right, so you got a three inch two turn spinner. Yeah. And the prop you got on it is a, a 20 by uh, dang, interesting. It's a 20 by eight. 20 by eight. Yeah, carbon fiber falcon. Okay, I won't be using carbon fiber. I see how you did this. I'm gonna That's do that choke. as well. Yeah, for the choke. 
That actually looks really nice, man. So would you, did you have to do anything to the spinner? No. So, did you get a custom or you did that just a stock one? That's stock spinner. Okay. Well, it's one that's big. It's, it's bigger than, you know, it's got a big cutout. Okay. So you didn't have to, because I looked at True Turn the other day, and they got these nice spinners, but you don't have to, uh, you don't have to um, drill it out, cut out for the prop. Uh, so if I'm using wood prop, the same size, it may work too. Yeah, but you have you have to drill the four bolt holes. Oh, but your 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 carbon fiber comes with the it already drilled. No. You gotta drill that too. It's just the center holes drilled on your carbon fiber. Okay. You gotta drill the other four, you gotta have a trap. Okay. And then you got the this screws into right into the shaft. The shaft. The but if you're using nitros, you have to actually put a, a nut yeah. on there. Yeah. Okay. And I like that. So if you're using um wooden propellers, which what kind of wooden propeller would you use? Uh, Zor. Zor, okay. Didn't need the heavy. It could have mm. ran the regular servos. We, we didn't know it yet, but. Was it just cause maybe the difference of the bulk of it? Or? Yeah, I guess. You know, the difference in the shape of the planes. Well, the, what it is, no, it's more the. M R. The all the CG is. Period. It's different. M R. These, period. Different wings. Huh. Very nice. Uh, there was back there. Uh, what do you put the uh what do you put on the to connect the canopy? What yeah. screws? Yeah. Okay. Right, right here. Little little hex screws. Oh okay, you just screw them in every time. That's cool. Yeah. Well, just drill a hole there hey, so I've seen these. I've seen them. these before. That was the nice. Let's hold down your circle. Makes a nice clean thing. Yeah. Yeah, every time I build a multi rotor or something, I try to hold those for like okay. twenty five. No, I don't like that. Um, but that's way better than the miracle switch, though. Yeah. I, the miracle. I'd rather use the black switches, the twelve-dollar ones, that the swap them. Oh, or just regular. Yeah, yeah, the black ones. Yeah. Then the miracle, actually, the miracle switches are kind of hard to put in. They take a big old hole. Yeah. Only thing Hervé knows, and he's pissed off about it because the prototypes. Yeah. So what you you guys use the same batteries? Yeah. So the these cutouts back here, mm -hmm. they took too much out. There's no place to put switches and stuff. So they did it on that one too. But they were supposed to put it back in. This first this section was supposed to be all solid in the top. Because I got 100 cc just like it. Oh, Even the graphics yeah, yeah, yeah. is identical. Okay. okay. Put in the same places, except this is on that side and that's on is this that side. And instead of mini me, it's called Red Devil too. Oh, okay. Because it takes. Right. Uh, Barry's got the. That's uh, the big one. That's the. 100 cc. 100 cc gas flame. Okay, so I got it. Mini me, see, mini me. Oh, there you go. What um, motor, what engine is in there? Is that DLE or a D A? D A. Do you take that one out of the um, the laser and put it in here? Yeah, I saw oh, the laser. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. There you go. So. So it's a DA. I got too many planes. I can't have. <laughs> I gotta sell some stuff before I yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. So that turns it on. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. And you see the, and then this switch here controls. Ignition. You see the light. Okay. So ignition's on. Oh, you see it from the outside too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now those lights come with that system too. Yeah. Okay. Both the switch. The switch right. comes with a light, and then the IBEC comes with with a light also. Okay. So it just. And that just plugs into a uh, channel. Nice, nice. Yeah. You ever put a, uh, a like a, what is it called? It's called a, like a, a battery eliminator. What is it? It's the it's a system that you can plug up to see when you, 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 you're moving all your servos, how many volts you're pulling. You ever do that? No. Okay. You're doing any telemetry? No. no. That's no, that, that's for that's for geeks. I just like right. flying them. How does this work? <laughs> I heard about this. That oh, it this is a this is a few, uh, Mac feeler. So it so doesn't make it. Spin it threads or in. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, sweet, like a, like an actual okay. gas tank. Yeah. yeah. And then you see that the pin inside it spins around on here, so it doesn't twist up your line like this. Okay. You know while you're tightening it up. You know, right. You know how that goes. Yeah. It well, twists. This it doesn't do that. And so it's the only. It's the only fueler that's like this. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the oh, only one. Right. Guy makes them in his garage in South Carolina. No shit. 
one one lead goes to the the, the servo. Okay. One lead goes to the battery. Oh, okay. So he's servoing the battery and then going to which channel? Uh, whatever you. The last channel. Whatever it is. The, the uh, channel, channel one on spectrum. Channel three on photography. So he can power through there and have the battery have yeah. the have the servo. Servo so working in there. at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you can do okay. that on all of them. So when you plug these, then it doesn't setup. matter which one you plug it into. Okay. Totally doesn't matter. So your setup, <coughs> how you plug in your batteries into your receiver? I got a, I got a spot for them. Okay, because I'm, I'm looking at getting the yeah. eight-channel receiver. Yeah. I need one of those, and I can yeah. do the same that the way that you're plugging it up. Yeah. And this is a nine. But your receiver, you have two satellites, right? Yeah. It does, that doesn't matter. That whatever the receiver comes with. Yeah. But that two satellites is gonna be better than the one satellite. But I'll be yeah. the, the uh, eight. I've had nine channels with four satellites. So. Oh really? Oh okay. The so, DSMX is going to cut down on the satellites. And you guys are using the same batteries, the yeah, twenty one hundred yeah. milliamp. Yeah. Uh, six. What is it? It's a two cell, but it's a uh, life. Life battery. Glaciers. I got the same ones, but I got eleven hundred milliamps They're on each little. battery. So depends on what you want to do. You gotta. You know, you know how to charge them, right? Yeah. You know, uh -huh. you know yeah. how to count milliamps. Yeah, That's life. what counts. Yeah. yeah. You can't go by voltage. Exactly. Yeah. I set them down to 3.3 .3 volts per cell and then charge them at, that, at their rate. But the thing is, is if you got two batteries, what's your third battery for your ignition? I don't have one. Oh. This is, this is an IBEC oh, okay. ignition battery eliminator, eliminator circuit. Okay. IBEC. Is that okay. the one that comes with this uh, from the same place? No, that's a switch. Okay. Where'd you get your IBEC from? The IBEC is, ooh, shoot. You gotta ask these questions. I don't have them written down. <laughs> They're in my computer, so okay. I just click on it. But you guys, you um, got, both of you got the same IBEC? Yeah. Okay, okay, I got him. He told me where it's from to okay. make sure yours is the same. Yeah, so it's you the same. The, you use the, the IBEC. switches are the same. Everything is the same. So you power the IBEC with the, with the battery, yeah. and then out comes out of the I IBEC. I highly recommend these IBECs. So, you plug the battery into the IBEC and then out of the IBEC goes yeah. into the receiver. Yeah. How does that work? The IBEC gets powered from the receiver oh, to the okay. to the ignition. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, okay. I got you. I got Hi, you. boss lady. How's it going? How are you Good. doing? How are you doing? Good buddy? to see you. So you plug both batteries into the receiver uh -huh. and then you pull the IBEC out of the receiver to yeah. the ignition. Uh, uh, channel five, which is your switch on the upper left hand your side. Your gear. Yeah. Your gear. That's okay. what I usually put. And it that's in. how you cut it off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, on and on. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now, I see you guys don't use well, all... He's already got me, dude. Wow. <laughs> you let me buy it? No. <laughs> I also already asked you. Yeah. So it's no all the way till summertime. This is, is this a 17 ounce or a 16 ounce tank? Actually, this is a, four, a 12. A 12? I okay. just changed it. Okay. Wow, because yeah, it looks a little... Yours the is smaller than his, big. ain't it? Yeah, but same okay. length. Okay. <coughs> Why'd you do that? Lighter because weight? Because I needed the 16. Ah. Uh, Interesting. <coughs> and so we you, flew it, and I never, I never even run it down a half a tank. I was like, so you ten minutes. So, so you split off your Y from your um, carburetor to your fuel also. So you fuel and your carburetor go in the yeah, same it's line. Yeah, it's called a two-line tank. A two-line tank. You okay. can have a three-line tank or a two-line uh -huh. tank. Okay, so two a lines. Two-line tank fills through a T. You yeah. see the T in there? Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. The fuel splits through a T. Yeah. Okay. This goes and fills up the tank and pressurizes your line to the carburetor. That's why right. I like it. Okay. Because it's easier for me to start uh, start the engine with a setup like this okay. versus the three line setup. I've tried them both. Okay. But the way I've learned to start the engines, the two line works better for me. Other people started just fine with the three line setup. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. Okay. All right. Just, and then this is your You know, vent. you'd have to ask somebody how to do it the three line way. Because your, I can't help you there. And that's your vent tube. The vent tube yeah, just goes straight to the bottom. Tube. Now, you know, the vent tube yeah. needs to vent and come to, come behind the loop, behind okay. the tank. Behind the tank. That's okay. so when you're flying inverted, it doesn't siphon out. Okay. Okay, I got you. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Sweet. Let's see your servos. Yeah, I see the servos you had. Yeah, that's the thing is, I was just looking at that. Now this one comes with the with the um, EC3 connectors, this receiver, those no. blue connectors. No. You don't come with those. No, that's just a regular receiver. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then what do you look at though? I don't, you don't use easy three anyway. You don't have to worry about the vultures no. at the servos pool. No. And this receiver. No. Because this, this is like a power That's safe. That's a D DSMX. Okay. It's it's a newer style receiver. You could run six volts through it, no problem. Okay. I don't try. I don't, I can't comment on seven volts because I don't use it. Uh huh. Because I don't need to. But you know we've we've run light poles through them. I think these go up to nine fine. volts. Huh? They go up to nine. I think. Yeah. Like six to but, nine volts. Yeah. Okay. And then that this piece this right here. That's yeah. just the that's the Yano switch. Okay. So plane is on. Mm. That's all. So you got two lights for it? Yeah. The other one is for the IBEC. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll show you.